Hello everyone, Steve Siebel back with mentaltoughnessblog.com. The Big D, Dallas, Texas. I'm just here uh, doing an interview I just did a few minutes ago on ABC News and Dallas Channel 8 here. And I was on the Jumbotron behind you. <laughs> that's, that's too much. I like myself, but not that much. That's a lot of me up there uh, a few minutes ago. But anyway, so here's what happened just on this live interview in Dallas. Um, I'm here promoting my book, Fat Loser, and, which I've been doing for the last five months. And so the, the anchor on ABC News just a few minutes ago, got really kind of upset. And she said, well, you're saying in your book that, that fat people are, are uh, not attractive, as attractive to their spouses, and that people don't like you know, fat. Fat turns people off uh, sexually and in other ways. Are, are you really saying that? And, I, and I, she said, because I know a lot of people that really like other fat. You know, they go after fat people, and they're, they're attracted to fat people. And I said, yeah, they'll lie about other things, too. And the whole crew behind, which you couldn't hear on TV, the whole crew behind the, the camera started laughing. Why do people laugh? Because they know it's true. Here's my question, critical thinking question. Here's my point of bringing this up. Are you lying to yourself? And if you are, what are you lying to yourself about? I mean, you know, I'm not talking about lying to other people. I'm talking about when we lie to ourselves. In other words, if I'm a hundred pounds overweight and I look in the mirror and say, Hey, you know, I'm looking better than I've ever looked. I am effectively lying to myself. And is that helping me or hurting me? We do this to ourselves. Of course, I've, I've done it my whole life as well as everybody else. Probably we lie to ourselves, but when a nationally known anchor asks you on television in one of the biggest cities in the country, one of the biggest TV markets in the country, and says, like incredulously, like, oh, fat is attractive. And she just said, you can see the clip. If you go to steveontv.com, you can see the clip. Uh, look, click under Dallas, and it'll be there, and you can see it. And you can see her face when she said, oh, I know a lot of people that think fat is attractive. Well, let me ask you, have you ever heard anyone say fat is attractive? I mean, we're just, we're just lying to ourselves individually, but we're lying to ourselves as a society to keep perpetuating this nonsense. We've got to grow up at some point and go, you know what? Fat is ugly. You know what? War is ugly. Crime is ugly. Some things are just ugly. It's just the way it is. Do I wish it wasn't true? Yeah, of course. But it's not true. But it is true. And that's the point. So I just want you to ask yourself this critical thinking question. What are you lying to yourself about? And question number two is how is it impacting you? How is that in, those lies impacting you, not anyone else, but yourself? If we're going to be mentally tough and we're going to be in critical thinking, we have got to start telling ourselves the truth. Hey, if you want to fool the world, go fool the world. But for God's sakes, don't fool yourself. I'm Steve Siebel from Dallas, Mental Toughness Blog. Thanks for watching. See you next time.